Thanks, Brett. Well, when it comes to any movie franchise, if you're going to do a sequel, you have to change things up a bit to keep the audience interested. Maybe you add a new favorite character. Sweet mother of Abraham Lincoln, the prospector, he'll want to meet you. Say hello to the prospector. It's a box. <laughs> or a plot twist. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. I'll never forget when I heard that the first time. Or if you're into superhero movies, how about a new villain? What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! Arnold will always spice it up. We bring this up because last night we learned that Joe Biden, well, a sequel is in the works. He's about to announce his re-election campaign, and this sequel will include all the must-haves some new characters, a new villain, and a new storyline. So let's start with the storyline, shall we? Joe is going from deep blue to bright green. You know, he dabbled, well, kind of a lot with the green energy stuff during his first two years in office. But it was not enough for far-left members of his party. And Joe needs them this time around. He definitely does. So he's turning things up a notch, rebranding himself as the green new Joe. And it starts today with a big announcement. This executive order creates a new Office of Environmental Justice and a new role for the Chief Environmental Justice Officer. They're going to coordinate. They will coordinate all our efforts across government to make sure we're delivering the greatest possible benefits to people's lives. That means every federal agency must take into account environmental and health impacts on communities and the work to, pre to prevent those ne negative impacts. Environmental justice will be the mission of the entire government. One long sentence, environmental justice in every corner of the government. So let's get this straight. This so-called environmental justice office will help communities impacted by pollution. Okay. So does that mean it will help the people in East Palestine, Ohio? Here's Binder. Can you say what this environmental justice announcement will mean, if anything, for the, for the people in East Palestine, Ohio? Oh, that's a very good question. Um, look, I think what's important to note uh, about uh, this uh, environmental justice EO is the president's continued support uh, in his climate agenda, uh, his ambitious climate agenda. He has the, the most ambitious climate ag agenda than any other president uh, in history. And I th one way that you can look at this uh, today is that uh, he's con con continuing to deliver on that ambi uh, ambitious uh, agenda, and he's not done yet, right? Oof, brutal. I guess that's a no. But we already knew this fancy new office wasn't actually going to help people. If you're paying attention, it's obvious what Joe Biden is doing. He's appealing to the AOCs, the Bernies, and the Ed Markeys, who just yesterday announced they're rebooting, what is this, the third, fourth reboot of their precious Green New Deal. Yes, we are reintroducing the Green New Deal today, and we have a coalition that is stronger than ever. And with that, we're also releasing a Green New Deal implementation guide. There is so much money out there for us to start working on projects on a community level and on a grassroots level. Check it out. We're going to make it happen. Can't wait to get our hands on that guide. For those of you keeping track at home, Democrats are ready to drop all kinds of money to save the planet. Yesterday, it was the Green New Deal. Today, it's environmental justice. And of course, we can't for forget the Inflation Reduction Act, which has very little to do with inflation and everything to do with going green. Biden today admitted that. We passed the Inflation Reduction Act, which makes the most significant investment in dealing with climate change ever anywhere in the history of the world, literally, not figuratively. $370 billion investment. It offers working families $1,000 a year in savings for providing rebates for to buy new efficient appliances, weatherize their homes, get tax credits for purchasing heat pumps and rooftop solar, 
energy-efficient ovens, dryers, and so much more. Provides tax credits for electric vehicles. I almost did the whole show in aviators. They want to be cool like Joe. Now, let's be clear. This climate bill is just the start of what's to come. It's a mere $400 billion payment for Biden's entire green agenda. A Marxist takeover to control every aspect of our lives. I have a feeling that a lot of electric cars and solar panels and windmills are in our future. Wonderful. Which is interesting because windmills are actually harming the environment. They're killing our sea life. Dead whales are washing up on shore in record numbers. Primetime has been reporting on this for months. Pave, that pave the ocean floor and then embed 90-story wind turbines off the coast. Like you said, they'll be, they'll be visible, but the aesthetics is the least of it. You know, there, there's no reason to kill whole species of protected animals to do that. This is harmful, which it, it clearly is. Common sense would tell you that's what killed these whales. That's the only new thing going on out there right now. They don't care about that. And listen to this. Joe Biden knew this would happen. Last August, he got a letter from top officials warning him about the impacts of wind energy projects on fisheries. He doesn't care. I guess Biden's philosophy is that you have to kill the environment in order to save it. But remember, this is the Biden sequel. So if Green New Joe is going to be successful, he's going to need some fresh new characters. And to be frank, climate czar John Kerry isn't getting it done for the administration anymore. He's a fading star. Nobody cares about a failed 2004 presidential candidate reporting for duty. So the administration is spicing things up a bit and teaming up with her. Meet Sophia Kiani. She's a climate activist. She's an influencer. And she was invited to the White House today for a climate event. Interesting choice. So we have our new character. What about our new villain? Enter Biden's arch nemesis, RFK Jr., who, who the moment he entered the race got 14% of Biden voters. Biden might be green, but RFK is greener, and he wants to be president. He's been fighting to clean up the Hudson River for decades and has been a longtime opponent of fracking. In Biden's world, he's basically the green goblin. So this could get interesting. The Green New Joe is shaping up to be quite the sequel. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.